As a parts supplier for General Motors, Next Year Automotive has announced layoffs in response to the ongoing strikes by the UAW. And this is something that's affecting local businesses already here in Saginaw County. I mean, it's cost everybody money. I mean, it cost, it cost GM, it cost Next Year, it cost everybody money to be shut down. The effect of the UAW strike against General Motors is starting to ripple out to other auto companies, including Next Year and Saginaw who released a statement to TV5 saying, As a Tier 1 supplier to GM, we have been monitoring the UAW-GM situation carefully to evaluate the potential impacts to our company. Without an imminent resolution, next year faces the difficult conclusion that we must temporarily reduce our workforce in the coming days due to the disruption in GM production. And fewer workers at the next year plant could mean fewer customers for the Union Station Sports Bar just a few blocks down the street. It's a little bit negative to the economics of this area, and it affects all the businesses that supply food and beverage and um, grocery stores and so on, you know. Randy Hill owns the Union Station Sports Bar in Saginaw and says several of his customers are from next year. And while he understands the need for negotiation, he believes the longer it takes, the more it will prevent workers from spending money in the community. If they're making money and they're secure with their jobs, then they're, then they're going to spend money in the community. But if they're concerned in the next month or two that they're not going to be able to be working and they're going to be laid off, well, that doesn't work well for most people. And it's those needs that lawmakers, such as Congressman Dan Kildee, believe need to be addressed sooner rather than later during this strike. The economic impact in the long term is going to be far worse for us if we don't stand up and make sure that we support those workers have job security, decent wages, good benefits, because we've seen what happens when those jobs leave. Now in their, early, in their earlier statement, next year announced that they are trying to minimize the impact to employees and also return to full staff as quickly as possible. Reporting live here in Saginaw County, Jonathan Jackson, WNEM TV 5.